Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you would never ask, Heidi. It is Friday, the 25th day of November. It's Blase Day. But it's also Blase. Yeah, but it's also Black Friday. National Parfait Day, National Play Day with Dad. Shopper Reminding Day, or I'm sorry, Shopping Reminder Day. Um, the one I'll celebrate, Buy Nothing Day. I'm not really a big buyer. Heidi's the one that does I, that. I am, yeah. <clears throat> Flossing Day, Maze Day, National Day of Listening. What was that? National Native American Heritage Day, and yesterday, Thanksgiving. Today, Your Welcome Giving Day. <laughs> okay. Wow. I, yeah, that's kind of just funny. That was a um, dad joke. You know, one of my favorite things this time of year, uh, we've got like all the Christmas movies cranking out now. So between now and Christmas, there's a ton of them ton of them uh there's three scripts that they use and they just film every one of them differently i'm but just not a fan i think they're really fun to watch um i've got a guest today michelle sims she's in okay remember a christmas carol it's uh-huh. like that but it's called a christmas karen and she plays karen and Let's i watched see. the trailer for this and it looks hilarious and i'm excited I to chat with her. it's coming up in a bit <laughs> In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. New study says there's a connection between the type of music you enjoy and your personality. Yeah. Mental Health Portal, Very Well Mind, surveyed 36,000 people around the world, and they had them fill out a questionnaire relating to the big five personality traits, being an extrovert, agreeableness, openness, conscientiousness, and neuroticism. Here are some of their conclusions. If you're a rap or hip-hop fan, despite that stereotype being aggressive or violent, no such link was found. They tend to have high self-esteem and generally more outgoing than fans of other styles of music. Pop music, uh, described as having more high self-esteem, extroverted. Uh, Fans of country tend to be hardworking, conventional, outgoing, and conservative. Uh, Fans of rock, like heavy metal, project images of anger and bravado, but in spite of that, they tend to be gentle and creative. Uh, fans of indie music uh, are, def- are, they say, let's see here, they uh, tend to be intellectual and less hardworking. Fans of dance music, uh, they rank lower than others in gentleness. gentleness. Fans of classical music uh, have self-esteem, like healthy self-esteem and uh, creativity. And finally, fans of jazz and blues and soul tend to be a little more extroverted with high self-esteem. So... I've got all of that because I ran through it quick in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy! Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50, 15, 1, 5. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a mintervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at mintervention.com. That's mintervention.com. Did you know? Brought to you by radiotravelgroup.com. Heidi, did you know the average person has five people in their life who they are very strong relationship with? Five. I don't know if I would even say I have that many. Yes, you, you got do. You got my mom. Uh, they, they say these are people they can count on for anything. Five is the number. Talk to 2,000 people. Their levels of gratitude for relationships in their lives. They found 7 in 10 are more thankful for the people in their lives this year than ever before. 71% said that. So who are they most thankful for? Kids came in at number one, 54%, followed by Mm. romantic partner, 53%, siblings, 45%. One in seven employed respondents say they feel very thankful for a co-worker as well. So who would you say you're most thankful for, Heidi? You. Really? Yes. Wow. Hands down. Holy cow. Well, I should have probably put you on the top of my list. <laughs> I'm kidding. Did I make the list you at made, all? Well, you're number 17, <laughs> but yeah, you're on there. No, you are number one. <laughs> all right. We don't know everything, but now we know this. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. You're going to hear her songs a lot this time of year. Mariah Carey. Mariah. She's got one in particular you can hear yep. a lot. 
But she's not going to get what she wanted for Christmas. She was trying to trademark the phrase Queen of Christmas. It was rejected. Yeah, they denied her attempt to trademark that. Uh, she wanted to lock down the rights to Princess Christmas and Christmas Princess as well. Applied wow. for the trademark in 2021. <laughs> oh, that's a little sad. Yeah. Uh, faced backlash, including from singer Darlene Love, who said David Letterman gave her that title 30 years ago. Carrie planned to use the title for things like fragrances and lotions and much, much more. So I don't know how she's going to get by now with only billions of dollars that she's made from that song. So, <laughs> And it's the most wonderful sale of the year. A Christmas Story, The House... Uh, a cast from that yeah, is looking to buy themselves that. a familiar present. The Home from the 83 classic film recently hit the market, and there are several members of the cast who are maybe going to buy the property. Uh, Yano Anaya, who played Grover Dill in the film, said to a reporter, it only would make sense for us to run the show. Um, he said he wouldn't share which co-stars were looking to pitch in, but he thought several of them would have an interest in doing it. And if they got it, they would keep it a tourist attraction. This has been Big Screen, Little Screen. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit. bettercreditcards.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. There's a clothing company in Japan. They do clothing and housewares. It's called Nissen, N I S S E N. I've heard of them before. They recently launched a line of bed linens and blankets to make uh, made to mimic, rather, the look and feel of cat fur. <laughs> okay. You may be aware that there are studies that show petting a cat causes uh, like l- levels of stress hormones to go down. What about those who live where they can't have a pet? Or people like Heidi who are allergic to cats? That is where the new <laughs> Nico feel, which means cat feel, <laughs> material developed by Nissen comes in. Their offering includes a mattress pad, a blanket, a small throw blanket, and a circle relaxation cushion that wow. goes on the floor. That is really special. Mm-hmm. Prices range from $13 to $41 for double size bed size blanket. The problem, though, is the second they posted this online, they completely sold out, like within an hour and a half. Wow. Yeah. So if you're interested, I don't know how long it's going to take for them to skin more cats to make this. Oh, that's not what they do. <laughs> it's not made of real cat fur. Wow. It is a it's it's fake to make it feel like cat fur. So mm-hmm. uh, anyway, no, that's it's not really cat. That would be awful. But uh, yeah, they, I don't know if they can make more or what the deal is. But what a bizarre thing. It's, it's would you ex- want to sleep on? Does that sound weird to you? No, it sounds very. It weird does. To it me. sounds very yeah. weird to me as well. And uh, I, I wouldn't want it if it was dog fur either. I think that would be weird. Or rabbit fur or horse fur or yeah. any kind of... I just don't think I need a furry blanket. No. That just all sounds... I mean, you know, I we've got some like really soft faux fur kind yeah, of blankets, I guess. Though. But it I don't... Doesn't seem, that, that doesn't even feel like fur. It feels like it's just a fuzzy blanket. It's more blanket. velvety. Yeah, it's like a velvet thing. I don't uh, know. Yeah, I don't know. It is bizarre. This could have been my weird news today. Maybe it should have been my weird <laughs> news today. It's your scoop of the day, though. Comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy! Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50, 15, 1, 5. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a Mintervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at Mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at Mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Thank you for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Super excited to visit right now with Michelle Sims about a fun new film that's out right now. It's called A Christmas Karen. And you get to be Karen, don't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this had to be a fun role to play. I was watching the trailer. I'm excited to watch the film tonight, but I was watching the trailer and I was laughing all the way through this trailer because you you seem like the kind of character that uh, would be a really, really, really fun character to play. Yeah, it was a blast. I mean, uh, 
it was uncomfortable at times, but it was mostly fun. <laughs> and and uh, for people who don't know, A Christmas Karen, again, this is a, a new film that's out right now. But uh, for folks that don't know, I think a lot of people, when when you know, they hear somebody refer to a Karen, they know what that means. And sadly, I know people named Karen that are wonderful, by the way. So that's not every Karen. But you right. did such a good job of kind of living up to everything we expect, didn't you? <laughs> I, I think I did okay. <laughs> when they put this script in front of you and you had a chance to read this, did you just like fall in love with it instantly? A few minutes. <laughs> it was a little nerve wracking just because I knew we were going to go into some territory that uh, isn't so pleasant. But um, when she she redeems herself at the end, and which is a very difficult thing to do, but I, I just trusted John and Lisa, the directors, and, and we went for it. And A Christmas Carol has been around a long, long time. And there have been some reimaginings of A Christmas Carol. One of my favorites, Scrooge, with Bill Murray. He did a great job. But I think this, A Christmas Karen, uh, it looks like it's going to be a really, really fun version of this as well. And like you said, there's some uh, there's some parts where maybe your character isn't the greatest, but uh, you, you're redeemed at the end, which is always a good thing. Thank goodness. <laughs> as you were working on this and you guys were, were filming this, when did this get filmed? It's a Christmas movie, so it's coming out now. But when were you working on A Christmas Karen? We actually started filming the day after Thanksgiving and shot for three weeks leading up to Christmas. So and you, uh, yeah, it was really fun. So you filmed this last year then? Yeah. That's kind of weird to have the, the movie a year ago and then you have to wait all this time. <laughs> Because it doesn't take that long to do the movie, but I suppose if you're filming it at Christmas time, it would be weird to put a Christmas Karen out in like July, wouldn't it? Right. <laughs> yeah, I remember like the first screening we had was in April. I was so ready to go, <laughs> but you know we had to get the distributor, and it's been a long wait for me. Well, and and it's finally out now. And uh, for folks that that fall in love with this and they they get a chance to uh, fall in love with you, are there some other fun projects that you're working on now? Um, I'm just about to work on some live stuff. Um, I do like solo shows, and my husband and I uh, we do a duet. We do improv some live variety lounge act type of show (laughs) Um, just stuff locally so that's what I've been focusing on recently and what was it that first got you into this that made you decide hey I want to I want to be an actress I want to get on screen and do this silly stuff uh Madeline Kahn in Blazing Saddles oh yeah I saw that because my dad would watch that every weekend when it came on PBS I remember and he would watch it every weekend and I just thought she was hysterical, and I was like, I want to do that. And, uh, yeah, I just kept going. <laughs> and now think of this. There could be some young lady watching A Christmas Karen who says, I want to do exactly what that Michelle Sims lady is doing. That's what I want to be. That would be amazing. <laughs> now, this this character, I'm assuming you're probably, because just from visiting with you, you don't seem like you're uh, really a whole lot like A Christmas Karen. I know there's a lot of acting involved, but was there any overlap at all? Was there a little bit of you in here at all? Uh. I think when she <laughs> when she turns around on Christmas morning, I'm kind of like that. Uh, nice. <laughs> I, I, I just giggly and a goof. Right? Well, it, <laughs> and she seemed to be uh, very happy that it was over and that you know that the things were good and the redeeming part. So uh, I, I it, again, I personally am really looking forward to seeing this. I've seen the trailer. I watched it twice actually, and I think it just looks really really good. So I'm excited that it's finally out. Michelle, thanks for your time today. Thank you. Again, Thank you so much. Absolutely. The new film is out right now. I've got a link to it so you can find it. Uh, it's called A Christmas Karen, and I like on the bottom, God help us, everyone. Again, uh, it's available right now through Video On Demand. I've got a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Checkers used to be known as chess for ladies. <laughs> wow. Whoa, yeah. that's a little condescending. Mm-hmm. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The rules of golf said that you, if your ball hit your opponent, he would lose the hole. 
So oh. if you hit, so apparently at one point you were supposed to aim for other golfers. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? There are three thousand English words or phrases which mean drunk. Wow, oh. that's a lot. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? There's a village in Norway called Hell, and it freezes over every winter. So oh. if you've ever heard that phrase, when hell freezes over, well, it happens it's all the time. It's not uncommon. No. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Fishing is a sport with the most participants in the world. So that makes sense because there are some people that are not doing it for sport. They're doing it to eat. Okay. So that makes a ton of sense. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The largest TV audiences are drawn by the Summer Olympics, the World Cup football, and Formula One racing. Those are the number one audiences. So I would have thought... In the summer? Is, no, that, is that what you said? In order. Oh. Summer Olympics, World Cup football, and Formula One racing. Wow. Largest audiences in the world. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy. Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50 15 one, five. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a Mintervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at Mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at Mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. Yay! Yay! It's brought to you by Mintervention.com. Heidi, you ready for this question? Sure. This is the second most common thing found in the average kitchen drunk junk drawer. What is it? Second most common second thing most common found in the kitchen thing. junk drawer. Um, rubber bands. Yeah, that is the second most common thing found. Oh. You know what the number one most common thing is? Ink pens. No. Keys. Yeah. Oh. I, every once in a while I look in there, I'm like, I don't even know what these yeah, are for. I don't for. know what that goes to. Yep. But I can't get rid of it because it's probably something important. Right. All right. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. And I feel as though this should have been my scoop of the day and that whole cat fur bed sheets should have been my weird news. But uh, there's a price war happening on hot dogs and soda combos. Sam's Club lowered the price of their hot dogs and drink deal to $1.38. They were $1.50 for a long time. Their chief rival, Costco, is still at $1.50. On the website, Sam's Club, which is owned by Walmart, said, frankly, it can't be beat. Costco hot dog deal has been $1.50 since they introduced it in the mid-1980s, and they consider that a perk for their members. Last year, the company sold $122 million of the lost leaders. The companies use similar strategies with rotisserie's chickens and other things as well. Despite the cost of poultry going up, Costco's chickens still stayed at $4.99. Sam's Clubs now go for $4.98. So, sounds to me like the gloves are off. Wow. Is that a weird thing for them to get in a fight over? <laughs> like, I'm going to lose more money than you are. No, I can lose more than you. It's just yeah, bizarre. I mean, yeah, they're going to wore uh, themselves right out of business. Well, I, I think they make enough in other departments, maybe. I don't know. Weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the list brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. Tis the season for holiday tipping, but how much do you give the hired help? How about things like this? Uh, babysitter. One evening's pay plus a small gift is what you would give to a babysitter. Child's teacher. Gift, uh, but... Check the school's policy to see if it is allowed first. A courier, $15 to $25 if you get regular deliveries from that courier. Daycare provider, $25 to $70 each plus small gifts from the child. A dog walker, the cost of one dog walking session. Gardener, $20 to $50 tip. Hairdresser, the cost of a haircut. Whatever you usually pay, pay an extra one. Housekeeper, a week's pay or more depending on the length of stay or the length of service. Mail carrier, they say gifts under $20, normally not allowed to accept cash, by the way. Yeah. Manicurist, cost of one session. Uh, nanny, a week or a month pay. Wow. I need to become a nanny. 
<laughs> I've got this entire list. If you want to read all of it, it just keeps going. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At bettercreditcards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Bettercreditcards.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Our quote today from Mae West, Heidi. Mae West. Okay. Don't keep a man guessing too long. He's sure to find the answer somewhere else. <laughs> oh. I like that. Oh, that's good. That is your quote of the day. That's it naughty. Comes, is it naughty? Is that what I she's saying? Is she naughty. saying something naughty? Gonna, uh, <laughs> all right. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. By the way, we're both dorks. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. I'm going to read this to you. You tell me what you think. A pot of mermaids in California saved a scuba diver from drowning. A pot of mermaids? A pod. A Three- pod. <laughs> Three mermaids rescued a man from drowning. He lost consciousness while scuba diving in California. There is no way. Well, he was scuba diving with his father and his father's best friend during a trip to Catalina Island. On the same day, Ellie Jimenez, a professional mermaid performer and diver from Miami, was teaching advanced mermaid course certified by the Professional Association of Diving Instructors. Says, this was my first time teaching the course in California. We imagine diving in the gorgeous kelp forest in Catalina and taking mermaid photos after my students pass the open water session. In the open water session, they would show me their mermaid skills, including their duck dives, their backflips, among other fun tricks. Around midday, Gemini's and her class heard somebody screaming for help a short distance from where they were training in open water. Two students sprang into action. The three-piece mermaid pod swam to this man and his father. And the guy was unconscious in the water, by the way. Wow. <clears throat> she got the first victim uh, where she noticed foam was coming out of the 70-year-old man's mouth. He was unconscious. Yikes. And it says uh, they, they were able to get this person saved in a real life or death situation. It says they were able to remove some heavy gear from his body while giving him rescue breaths every five seconds. I noticed the other buddy was struggling at the surface right by, behind them. He was hyperventilating. They made the decision that while Pablo was in great hands, I need to go help this other distressed diver and prevent another life-threatening situation. All three men were towed to shore by mermaids. Yes. Wow. And there's some video footage and there's some uh, photographs from people on shore. And it's quite the deal. So when I say these people were rescued by mermaids... That's they hilarious. were women dressed like mermaids. Right. But it's really a cool story. I've got a link to it. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show.